Just 24 hours after Lisa Rex sang at her niece's wedding, her husband was driving her to a local hospital. The pain got worse. I started vomiting and um, got to the emergency room and, and just said to Brad, something is just not right. After an MRI showed a suspected tumor, Lisa was immediately flown to Seidman Cancer Center at UH Case Medical Center in Cleveland, Ohio, where Dr. Andrew Sloan How are you? diagnosed How are you? her with a stage four glioblastoma, the most aggressive form of brain cancer and the most difficult to treat. They are comprised of the brain itself. It's, it's the brain, it looks like brain tissue. It sort of feels a lot like brain tissue. It's hard to figure out necessarily where tumor ends and swollen brain begins. Through a research trial, doctors offered Lisa a chance at an innovative procedure and a new drug called 5-ALA. Patients take the drug before surgery. Once the agent interacts with brain tumor cells, it creates a fluorescent compound. And when a physician uses a special microscope that contains a blue light like this one, the tumor literally glows hot pink, making it clearer for a surgeon to see and remove the cancerous cells. If we get out 95 to 99 percent of that tumor, we can almost essentially double the patient's survival. See, see this cavity here? That used to be filled with tumor. What Dr. Sloan did, which was to um, give me the best possible chance with the best possible margins, with the speech that I had intact, with everything that I, I think I needed at that point. UH Case Medical Center is one of a handful of hospitals in the country studying the drug for brain tumor surgery. And while this drug might not buy a cure for the disease, it is a breakthrough that's buying patients precious time. I should have a pretty good prognosis, so I've got some years here, and that, that's a good thing. The, the longer I can keep it that way, the better I, I, I would like it. <laughs> Jennifer Guerreri, University Hospital's Case Medical Center News Service, Cleveland, Ohio.